Oh, well, that's... <laughs> uh, I've never had that happen before. Okay. Stay away from the windows. <laughs>welcome to a new let's play today we're going to be playing resident evil 4 uh, it's a game that is quite dear to my heart it's one of my favorite games of all time so let's just jump straight into it resident evil 4 so i'm just going to let most of the cutscenes 1998 i'll never forget it it was the year when those grisly murders occurred in the Arklay Mountains. Soon after, the news was out to the whole world, revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the international pharmaceutical enterprise, Umbrella. The virus broke out in a nearby mountain community, Raccoon City, and hit the peaceful little town with a devastating blow crippling its very foundation. Not taking any chances, the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan to sterilize Raccoon City. With the whole affair gone public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business decree to Umbrella. Soon its stock prices crashed, and for all intents and purposes, Umbrella was finished. Six years have passed since that horrendous incident. I received special training via a secret organization working under the direct control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Cornia, why am I the one who always gets the short end of the stick? Yo, who are you really? Come on and tell us. You are a long way from home, cowboy. You have my sympathies. Guess that's a local's way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. What? All by yourself? <coughs> I'm sure you boys didn't just tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together at some Boy Scout bonfire. Then again, maybe you did. Oh, you crazy American. It's a direct order from <coughs> himself. I tell you, it's no picnic. I'm counting on you guys. It was right before I was to take on my duties of protecting the president's daughter when she was abducted. That's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural part of Europe. According to our intelligence, there's reliable information about a sighting of a girl that looks very similar to the president's daughter. Apparently she's being withheld by some unidentified group of people. Who would have thought that my first job would have been a rescue mission? Freezing. So cold all of us are it. <clears throat> ah, must be my imagination. <sighs> Sorry it took so long. Just up ahead is the village. I'll go and have a look around. Yeah, we'll stay and watch that car. Don't want to get any parking tickets. Right. Parking tickets. Good luck. 
Jeez, who are these guys? Did you say something? Leon, I hope you can hear me. I'm Ingrid Hunnigan. I'll be your support on this mission. Loud and clear. Somehow I thought you'd be a little older. So the subject's name's Ashley Graham, right? That's right. She's the daughter of the president. So try to behave yourself, okay? <laughs> Whoever this group is, they sure picked the wrong girl to kidnap. I'll try to find some more information on my end as well. Good. Talk to you later. Leon out. <clears throat> okay, as I was saying before the cutscene started, <clears throat> I'm just going to let all the cutscenes play and try not to talk over them. Excuse me, sir? I was wondering if you might recognize a girl in this photograph. ¿Qué carajo estás haciendo aquí? ¡Lárgate, cabrón! Sorry to have bothered you. Is everything okay? There was a hostile local. I had no choice but to neutralize him. There are still others surrounding the area. Get out of there and head toward the village. Take whatever measures necessary to save the subject. Understood. So they've just gone and basically run the police. So I just had to turn the sound down then because it's very, very loud. So I, I played this game when it came out. I can't remember what year it was, but it was... Oh, shoot. Getting hold in here. It was quite a while ago anyway. Put it that way. And I, I, I would probably put it in my top five games of all time, personally. And it does hold it fairly well as well because they've like released it on every console known to man. This is uh, on PC. So we need to help. I'm going to go help this dog over here because he might help us later on. And plus, it's a dog. It's tight. Hi, little doggy. <clears throat> so, uh, I don't, I don't know how many times I've played this game, but it's quite a few. Though I've, I've not played it for quite a few years now, though. So, excuse the rustiness. <coughs> I remember there was a snake in one of these boxes somewhere. Let's have a look. 
And if I'm quick enough, I can knife it and get an egg. I keep using the wrong stick to aim. I have to cut that shit out. Oh, that was uh, very lucky. And it killed them both with one kick. Nice. Ah, uh, I had him then as well. Damn it. <coughs> Oh shit! I uh, forgot about you. So for me, this is where Resident Evil as a series, after this game, started to head downhill. Yeah, <clears throat> you could say that this game is just as action-y as, say, Resident Evil 5, but At least this was in a sort of creepy setting, whereas Resident Evil 5 just pumped you full of bullets Leon, and let you have that yeah, every single question. enemy that moves. Sorry to hear that. I'm sending you a playing manual. Hope you find it useful. I'll take a look at it. Thanks. You don't need to see any of that stuff. Who reads manuals? Not if you're a man, at least, anyway. <clears throat> Okay, you can zoom in that there's the, the police officer that was in the car with us before. <clears throat> he didn't fare too well, did he? Now, I've always found this part here, especially now, with me not remembering how to even play the game, to be a bit part luck, really. Because that chainsaw guy does not mess around. Enough. Okay, we're still <laughs> undetected somehow. So I'm going to try and conserve as much ammo as possible. Ah, I think. Uh, I knew that was coming as well. <clears throat> so I'm fairly sure this scene just requires you to survive, not actually shoot anything. So I'm going to try my best to stick out the way. Especially when old... Baghead comes lurking. Because he is quite fast. And, uh, ah, oh shit, wrong button again. drop an egg. <clears throat> I didn't just do that because I don't like chickens. It does usually drop an egg. <clears throat> okay, right, I think if I head into this building now... It... Yeah, there we go. Cutscene. And baghead. Look at these people. <clears throat> so you're just 
third old meat there then. Knock that ladder down. Well, that's. <laughs> uh, I've never had that happen before. Okay. Stay away from the windows. <coughs> so I'll, I'll probably just cut now. Okay, right, we're back where we were. <coughs> I was more worried of losing my stuff that I'd picked up here than anything else. So generally what I do is I, I, I just grab everything that I can. And then I head up this tower. And then, really, what what it is you got to do is just stay away from the chainsaw guy, as you just saw, because he is the danger here, basically. So if I equip this, okay, I don't remember them doing that, but oh shit, Ooh, this is not going well, is it? Right, I'm gonna have to jump down and risk what is down here. Let's have a peek. Okay, they're all following me. So basically, after a certain time. A new cutscene will happen, and they'll all run off and go and play bingo. Like I said though, the danger really is that chainsaw guy, you just gotta stay away from him at all costs. The others pose no threat whatsoever compared to him. I'm gonna pop a few of these I think. See what I mean? They're just lumbering. Right, there we go. Oh, la campana. Es hora de rezar. Tenemos que irnos. Lord Sattler.
where's everyone going? Bingo? Told you. Bingo. Honigan, I have some bad news. I've confirmed the body of an officer. Something's happened to the people here. Leon, you need to get out of there. Look for a tower and follow the trail near it. Got it. All right, I just need to go and get this spinal. Can you shoot this? I can't remember. You have to go up. Oh, I ain't hitting that because my accuracy is crap. Where's that path gone? There it is. I think that snake could be in this box. Nope. Where is it? It's going to get me, isn't it? It is going to get me. Not in there. I think that's just telling you they have the door or something. I have read them, but not for a very long time. <coughs> okay, this zone. There's these little blue medallions here. I think if you shoot 12, you get a gun. No, 8. But I don't really like the gun, so... I'm not going to waste my time on it. Well, he moved fast. Ew. So there was that dog again then. You keep seeing him. And I keep shooting chickens. That's what I mean about it being creepy and eerie. There was certainly no this in Resident Evil 5. Another spinal. So there's a merchant later on where we can sell. Oh, I keep pressing the. So good to I have lots of ammo. These controls are really, really, really hard to get used to. <clears throat> In fact, I think I. I did change the settings, didn't I? Let's check. Let's try this one. I 
I don't know if that made any difference, but it didn't seem to. Oh no, that's the way you go for next time. I knew one of them was. <clears throat> I wouldn't make no speed running records, would I? This is the first game I can remember making QTEs popular. Like, compared to modern games, there's, there is quite a lot in it. But since this game had it in, I think it a lot of games took notice and added them in. To the point where nobody likes them anymore. Oh, come on, Leon, hold your bloody aim steady. Uh, are you kidding me? Oh. Uh... There we go, finally. Now we shoot this one. There's, there's many creepy spiders in here. Oh shit. Ah, run! My aim is abysmal. Can you get the foot back? Bye! 